Now, a committee consisting of ECJ, Great Co, and VRA has been constituted to oversee the implementation of the load shedding exercise to reduce the inconsistencies. Chief Executive Officer of the Volta River Authority, Engineer Keck Kofi, exclusively told Edward Kwabi this has become necessary to ensure households and industries do not suffer. Countries' energy providers cannot supply the energy demands. And with the sporadic nature of gas supply from Nigeria, it has become imperative for power suppliers, ECG, to conduct load shedding. Many consumers have criticized the ECG for not following load shedding timetable. Chief Executive Officer of Power Generating Outfit, VRA, Kek Kofi, says a committee to handle the exercise has been working on it. We have a utilities meeting once in every two weeks where we, we discuss how the system is going. Normally this is done when you are in some of these crises. And um, we as a, are not that happy with the challenge, the quality of supply, because if we have a problem, we should be able to manage it I mean, in terms of the, the magnitude. We have VRA, ECG, Grid Coil, uh, PRC, everybody is on the committee to just look at whatever it is and how we can manage so that if there's no challenge, everybody understands. Meanwhile, the Volta River Authority has saved in excess of over $9 million since the Atuabo gas plant began supplying the Abuazi thermal plant with gas. It will be running one of our machines in Takrari, 105, 107. It hasn't come down, running successfully, smoothly. But the, the gas counts at a slightly lower temperature, but we have heaters which we use to heat the gas to the right temperature, and we're running. One machine be running successfully, no problem. Two of VRA's machines would have been moved to gas. And you know the savings to Ghana or to VRA, when we're able to do that, that's massive. So we are quite happy that we're getting getting gas. The idea is that we should be able to ramp them up so that we can run all our machines in Takrade. That's two of the VRA machines and then the Tico machines. Authorities at the Volta River Authority are confident two more of its plants at Abuaze could be fueled by gas from Atuabo by the end of December to boost generational capacity and subsequently limit power cuts.